Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we are going to be taking a look at Clone Commander Bly from the Star Wars Black series. Now, before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free, and it really helps out the channel. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's packaging here. As you can see here, it is in the older style Black Series packaging. Nice big window here on the front, as well as an image of the character here down in the corner. When you flip it over onto the back, that same image is repeated again, as well as a brief description. And of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. So overall, pretty standard stuff we've seen it a million times. Let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself here. Now, Bly stands at six inches tall to the top of his helmet. Uh, so he's right in scale with all of your other Black Series figures. And he does come with a couple accessories here. The first one is his blaster rifle. And of course, we've seen this a million times. Uh, really nice detail, but no paintwork on there, unfortunately. He does also come with two blaster pistols. As you can see here, again, Nicely detailed, but no paintwork or anything on there. Uh, one thing to mention about these is that they do fit into his holsters here on his side, and they fit in quite snug, so they're not going to fall out or anything while you are posing the figure. One really cool thing that I like about this figure is that, you know, we've got some new parts on him, obviously, um, but they've also tweaked some of the articulation, and we'll talk about all of that here in a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at his helmet, though. Again, this is a newer uh, piece. We haven't seen any other clone figures with this exact helmet before, and these micro binoculars do actually move down. Uh, one thing that I don't like about them is that they do create a gap between the helmet and the binoculars here on the figure. It's not a huge deal. I actually prefer when they're up on the head, so it's not a huge deal to me. It is something to note though. One other thing to note is that Hasbro did miss some paint on this figure, and this is pretty common. I think they, they missed uh, this little stripe over his chin uh, quite a bit. You can actually see it here on the packaging. Uh, right here, there's supposed to be a dark yellow stripe, and they have missed that. So that is one thing uh, to mention about that. I don't know if there's any running changes that have um, fixed that problem, but it is um, a problem on this figure. As far as articulation on this figure goes, it's actually a, a significant improvement over the original clone body. He's got a ball peg in the head and then a hinge in the neck. Gives him a decent range of motion. I think enough to get the job done. Then he's got ball hinge shoulders, and as you can see here, they've improved the range of motion on those. So the shoulder pad is actually tucking into the uh, chest armor, which allows him to get extra range, which I absolutely love. There is a bicep swivel underneath that, double jointed elbows, and as you can see on this side, you are getting more than 90 degrees, which is improved from the original figure. But then on this side, where you've got this new bicep sculpt, you actually get even more than that. As you can see there, it's um, significantly more than on the other side, which I absolutely love. I wish that they would re-sculpt all of the biceps um, on these clone figures to give that extra range of motion. Hopefully they'll do that in the future. He does have hinged wrists with a swivel. So on this side, the hinge runs this way, as you can see, and then on this side, it runs this way through the hand. He does have a, it's either a single or a double ball peg here in the torso, excellent range of motion there. He does have T-jointed hips, and there is a decent range of motion there, not great, but enough to get the job done, and then they do kick forward a decent amount. Hidden under there, there is a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, as you can see there, decent range of motion, enough to get the job done. And then he's got hinged ankles with an ankle rocker. So overall, I think that they have done a really fantastic job with this figure. You know, for the most part, the paintwork is, is fairly well done. I mean, I think most people won't even notice that that stripe is missing. He's got a nice mix of, you know, well done soft goods and improved articulation. So I 100% recommend picking this figure up. I think Hasbro did a really amazing job of updating that original clone body to turn it into a new character, as you can see here. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.